What's going on, guys? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another episode with your girl. Hope y'all are doing good this morning. Hope y'all are feeling good. Hope life is going phenomenal for you guys. If you're new here, I'm your girl, Mahogany. If you're returning, hey, babes. Thanks for locking in with me another video. Today is an amazing day. I'm feeling okay. I actually have been sick since geez, probably last Thursday and today's Monday. So I was sick Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And y'all hear how I sound now. I feel for the most part better. Like I felt like yesterday was the worst I ever felt on Sunday. And then today I'm like, okay, feeling much better, but not like my normal self. I did like a sick vlog for you guys. Just showing y'all my first time being sick um, since the whole split and it was just definitely different because I had all the kids and being sick and not having a partner. Not saying you need a partner. It's just so different when you've had one for 10 years. And so I just showed you guys that journey, just, you know, a raw and filtered account of that. And today is Monday and I was like, baby, we got to get back to work. What's going on? So I'm pushing through. I haven't had much of an appetite, which is normal when you're sick. And so I think I'm going to more than likely go to Starbucks this morning and grab me another one of those like mint balls because they were that was really, really good. And that was super helpful. I had one on like Thursday or Friday. I can't remember which day. And that really helped me a lot. So I'm going to grab one of those. Probably grab me some breakfast, like a cheese danish or something. Nothing heavy, but just something that just put something on my stomach because I have learned that we all knew I feel like growing up that breakfast is the most important meal of the day but we a lot of us I know myself miss and skip breakfast however just in my weight loss journey and my whole journey in general as far as like weight is concerned I learned that breakfast really jump starts your metabolism so you need that breakfast to just get your body ready and up to burn the calories and just to do what it needs to do. It's not, it really is super important because, you know, we need our metabolisms to be high and, you know, not like an overdrive, but I mean, high, I know for me, I need mine to be higher than it is. I need it to be higher than it is so that I can just really, you know, burn the calories that I need and have my body doing what it needs to do. Anywho, that's enough talk on that because I'm not a trained health professional and I do not have all the answers. That's just what I've learned and I don't want to get too deep into it that I start talking about stuff that I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> today is a really special day. I, I listened to church yesterday and the pastor basically was preaching about how oftentimes when we go through life, we need a CRO. And he was saying, especially leaders, you need a CRO. And what he was saying was, a CRO is a, dang it, what did he say? Chief reminding officer. And basically, he was saying, when you go through life, oftentimes, you don't need to know nothing new. You don't need to be reminded of, um, you don't always need new information. Hold on. Or y'all say, you always need to learn. That's not what he's saying. You don't always need new information. You need to be reminded of old information. And what he was pretty much saying is, when you're going through a situation and you're like, Lord, how are you going to provide? How are you going to do this? Like, how, 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 how? You need to be reminded of the scriptures that say he's Jehovah Jireh, a, 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 a God of provision, you know? And um, it's just so important that you be reminded. Sometimes you just need a reminder. You don't need a new piece of information. You need a reminder. You may be um uh you may be going through something and you need to be reminded of the scripture that says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but but the Lord delivered him of them all. So yes, you may be afflicted, you may be going through a situation, you may be feeling like you're in a storm, but if you are in him, he will deliver you of deliver you from out of that. And so it's just like sometimes you need a reminder. You don't need nothing new to help you through your situation, but you need to be reminded of what God is and who God is and what God has said. So I wanted to do something super special today. I have a few things I need to do in between, like 
um, head to Starbucks. I need to, um, I really want to go by the wax studio and see if I can get a wax because I really need a wax. Like, yeah. I'm going to see if I can swing by there and get a wax because this would definitely be a walk-in appointment. And they usually have walk-in appointments for like stuff like arms and stuff. But like when you're trying to get a full body wax or anything, any large body area is like you need to book. So I'm going to see if I know I'm going to run to Starbucks. I'm going to see if I can get this wax. And then I am going to do what I'm sharing with you guys now. And so I'm super excited. And I challenge you guys to do this with me. And I'm going to be going to the store and pretty much getting like no cards. And writing down scriptures or reminders that I need to know for this season of my life. And just keeping those with me so that I can flip through them anytime I need to be reminded of what God said. Regarding my situation, regarding my life. And just being reminded of who he is so i am super excited about that y'all and like i have showed y'all and told y'all more so prayer and god is what has been able to just shift me through this season if it was not for god i promise you i promise you i would not be showing up the way that i am and it's just through god that i'm able to just show up and be just who i am and be the parent that I am to my kids and I'm able to just do everything because of God it's not me y'all see me but it is not me I want y'all to take that from my whole journey as y'all see God do things for me as y'all see doors open up for me as you see me just do different things no it is God not me it's a journey and you feel a lot of emotions and sometimes I'll be feeling like my head is just so overwhelmed like I got so much stuff in my mind like oh my gosh because there's so many layers and it's so easy. And I talk about this a lot on my Patreon. It'd be so easy to feel overwhelmed because it's like, okay, I got to find out where I'm going to move. I got to get a new car, which you guys saw that I did that journey. But like, I got to get in a new place. I got to find out the school zones because the kids got to get in school and the kids got to do this. And I got to get that straight. And I got to take care of myself. And I got to make sure I'm eating, make sure I'm going to therapy, make sure I'm in my support group. Like, it'd be so many things. Make sure I'm staying on top of my business. Make sure this is going. Make sure that is going. Make sure I'm showing up for my YouTube. Make sure I'm like, it's like, oh my gosh, it'd be so much on your mind. And that's why I said it's not me. It's God that allows me to show up the way I show up because it wouldn't even be wrong. I, I mean, it would be normal for me to be down in a dumps in a dark room under the covers, just crying and sad. Not, not saying you got to be like that over the person, but I'm saying, you know, the person that you're splitting from. But just with all the life changes, you could be like that. And then there are some people who be like that over the person. But I'm just saying, because the life changes are so heavy. But it's nobody but God... I get on up, I press my way, and I just show up. It's it's the Holy Spirit in me that works through me, baby. Mm, it's not me. But anyway, let's pray. Lord God, thank you for this amazing morning, God. Thank you for waking us up this morning, God. I pray for people may be battling with sickness in their body, God. Body, God, I pray that, Lord, you will, God, restore their body back to health. God, I pray that, God, you will just lead and guide us in this new day, God. We want to be so close to you, God. We want to have our ears so close to you, Lord, that we hear what you're saying, when to do it, what not to do it, because what not to do, because, God, we know that every step we take is critical in this season, God, and we only want what you want for us. We want your best for us, and, God, we know that staying close to you and keeping our ears close to you is how we will get that lord i pray that you'll breathe on our plans god i pray that you'll breathe on god our visions god the things that you've given us god some of us are feeling stuck some of us god don't know how we're going to get from point a to point b when it comes to the plans that you've called us to embark upon god i pray that you'll just blow god fresh vision fresh ideas god i pray that when you blow on our plans that god will instantly god begin to get a download from you on what to do next how to do it next god and whatever may be causing us to feel stuck god that block it would move god i pray god for those of us who may be dealing with unforgiveness god or maybe trying to navigate the forgiveness the forgiving path 
the path of forgiveness. God, I thank you that you said that vengeance is yours. And God, we don't need to continue to extract payment, God, from those who have hurt us. God, whether that's through us not speaking to them, whether that's through us, whatever way, God, we understand that it's not for us to do that. Even though our feelings are very much valid and justified, God, I thank you that, God, you... Through you, we don't have to worry about that. But God, forgiveness is for us. So God, I pray that you'll touch our hearts, God, and you allow us to continue to just think like you and be like you and forgive, God, as you have ordered us and asked us to do, God, in your word. God, I thank you that every word that, God, you spoke over our lives, God, you see that it is to be performed. God, I thank you that despite the situations we may be in right now, God, your word has not your word is not void, God, and everything that you said, God, will happen in our lives. God, I thank you for being a watcher over your word. God, I thank you for your angels, God, that just walk with us each and every day. God, I thank you that it's your Holy Spirit that lives in us, God, and continues to uh, make us who we need to be. God, I thank you for your Holy Spirit that works through us, God, through our gifts, allowing us to help others and just do the things you need us to do. And also, God, I thank you for your angels that work for us, God, protecting us. God, as we travel, God, our your angels are traveling with us. God, as we go into workplaces, God, I thank you that your angels are going in with us. God, as we go into Starbucks, as we go into the drive through line, as we go all over, God, I thank you that it's your angels that are walking with us. God, protecting us, going before us. God, I thank you that you are a sovereign God. And God, by you being sovereign, God, that means that you have absolute authority. God, I thank you. That that means, yes, some people may have power, but God, you have absolute power. So God, I thank you that you're sovereign. God, so whatever it is that we need, God, whether we're trying to get to get into a new place, God, uh, maybe a new, um, a, a new place to live, God, I thank you that, yes, there is the property managers mm -hmm, and they have power. But God, I thank you that you are sovereign and you have absolute power. So God, you're able to move and maneuver and do all the things that you need to do to open up the door for us that are ours. So God, I thank you that it does not matter who sits in authority. God, you are sovereign. And when a door is ours, it's ours. And you'll open it for us, God. I thank you that some blessings, God, require us just to get close. God, and then when we get close, it's like a sensor. The door just opens. And so God, I just speak that we will continue to get close to the things you're calling us to, to do and be. God, I pray that you'll continue to speak to us, God, on how to do and fulfill everything that, God, you've called us to do. God, I thank you that even for me, God, you told me just to be obedient, God, and you'll meet every need. You'll show me, God, how to navigate this place that I'm in, God, uh, when it comes to the whole divorce, when it comes to just my kids, when it comes to my business, when it comes to me discovering myself, God, you literally have told me just to be obedient, just be obedient, listen to you, and you're going to take care of it all. And so, God, I thank you for that. I thank you for carrying me in this season. And, God, I thank you for carrying your people. God, I thank you for, God, being such a big God that the way you're carrying me and people are like, how in the world is she doing it? God, I thank you that you can do that same thing for them, God. All they have to do is ask, God, carry me in this season. I give this to you. So, God, I thank you for everything that you're doing, God. I pray that you'll continue to bless us. God, lead and guide us. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Let's go and get to it. First stop is going to be Starbucks and Wax Studio. And then to pretty much getting our index cards. That's what I think we're going to use. So that I can write down what God say and be reminded. Because we be needing to see R, look at me like I do not. Is this like C R O? I think that is the sign language for that. Um, maybe need a reminder, but y'all, let me get going because I'll sit right here and talk and pray all day, child, and won't be ashamed, won't be it. Hey, y'all, thank you so much for watching. We're pausing real quick to share a little bit about my Patreon. Love y'all. What's going on, guys? It's your girl Mahogany, and if you don't know already, I am also on Patreon. Click the link in the description box to join my Patreon. On my Patreon, I share the real 
the raw and the uncut of my journey, especially my healing journey, going through a divorce, what that looks like, how has that affected my mental health, the kids, and also details around the affair with receipts. I share all of that on my Patreon. And of course, with my YouTube family, I share a lot with you guys too. And some of y'all love what you get, but there's a group of y'all that are like, I want to know more. I want to know deeper. I want to know just how are you doing today mentally? Some things that I can't share publicly on YouTube. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely head over to my Patreon. It's some of you that are like, hey, I get it. What you went through was hurtful. It wasn't right. And I want to support you in any kind of way. I don't care what you post on your Patreon. I want to be a part. Definitely click the link in my description box. And I have gotten so many comments from people that are like, I'm going through what you're going through right now, or I've been there. And I want to assist there's someone that I can talk to about this situation and we can have real conversations. If that's you, my Patreon is definitely for you too. So click the link in the description box and join me on Patreon as we grow, heal, and be our best selves over there. See you on Patreon. All right, guys. So we are pulling up here at Starbucks. They actually don't have a line and that is amazing. Well, they have like a little line, but it's not like a long line like they usually have. So I don't consider this little line to be a line, if that makes sense. Um, but we are here at Starbucks, one of the Starbucks that I go to. And I wanted to ask y'all, so I'm getting ready to change his hair. I ain't even do nothing to it. I'm so tired and not feeling well. I ain't do nothing to this hair. But I am at Starbucks. And oh, what I was going to tell y'all is I'm going to be changing my hair. So what y'all think about me changing? I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be changing to something different. I got two options. And I don't know which one I'm going to do. I kind of have an idea though. Uh, so how do y'all feel about me changing my hair? Good afternoon, thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Hi, can I have, um, it's like a mint ball or something. The well, honey citrus mint? Yes, ma'am. What size? Um, can I get that in grande? Which is like a medium, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. And yeah. um, yes, ma'am. Let me get the uh, one of your cheese danishes warm, please. Okay. And that will be it. All right. Eight eighty six for the window. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Um, and so y'all, I'm gonna be changing my hair, and I'm super excited about it. And yeah, I'm finding what hairstyle I feel like really suits me the best. Like, don't get me wrong, this one was really tea. I look a mess right now. I just rolled out the bed. But this one was definitely tea. And I really like it. However, I just want to try something new. Like, I feel like I still haven't found my 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 it. Like, what I love. Like, I feel like I still haven't found it yet. Like, this one is so dear to me, honey. Like, ooh, it just gave grown, sexy. Like, it really just gave what it needs to give. Of course, you know, me. Me helped it but it was just an accessory um because when it's in you it's in you period and so that's that on this but i'm going to change to something else something else i want to try and i'm really excited about it let me know in the comments what y'all think i should try and um we'll pretty much go from there but i'm in this line i'm next up and i'm getting ready to get my starbucks i'm gonna show y'all my order i heard what i ordered but i'm gonna show it to y'all once i pick it up all right, guys, so I got my stuff. Where's my hand sanitizer? I really need to go to Bath and Body Works and re-up on all of my smell good and stuff because it is definitely time. But I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that today, y'all. I don't think I'm gonna have the time to do that. That's gonna be a bit much. But here's my cheese danish I got from Starbucks. Looking very cheese danish-ish. and good per normal then here is the mint balm grande honey citrus mint tea really love this y'all Ooh, mm, it's so good and it really just does what it needs to do like it just opens up everything but anyway so our starbucks run is done next stop is the wax studio See if I can get this quick little wax. It shouldn't take no longer than like 45 minutes. But I'm hoping that they have an opening. I hope so. 
what we shall see. Let's go see. All right, guys, so I was able to get an appointment. I'm in the room right now. Here's the bed. There's the wax stuff back there. Ooh, I always be wanting to fight myself when I sign up for these appointments. I'm getting a Brazilian wax, y'all. And even though I get waxed right, regular, so the pain isn't as bad as it was in the beginning, I still be like, girl. But baby, we gotta just stay on our maintenance, period. All right, y'all, so I am literally done with the wax. It went really well, baby. Y'all know when I get, like, my underarms waxed or my legs, I'll film that. And sometimes I can, I'll film the Brazilian waxes too, but, baby, I just didn't know what to expect today. And so um, I couldn't film that. But, honestly, it was, it was not even that bad, for real. Like, once I did those first two pulls, once she did those first two pulls, I was like, okay, cool. And honestly, it was more so relaxing than anything. So just kind of just doing the wax and just enjoying like the little music they be having in the background and not being on my phone and not filming. Honestly felt good and it felt right. So that is done. I'm about to get dressed and we are headed on out of here. All right, family. So here I am at Target. I am here to pick up some stuff, but let me just stop for a second and see what all they have here. Y'all, as I said, I literally left out the house. I brushed my hair, but I did not do hardly anything to it. But checking out Target, seeing what they have. Mm, nothing really striking me at this moment, but um, yeah, I don't see nothing that's like in this little entrance part that really strikes my attention. Oh, I do need to pick up a lighter so I can light my candles because I bought a candle like a month ago and have not even been able to use it because I realized that the lighter that I have at home doesn't even light anymore. So that's that. But we are here, y'all, at Target. Um, I am literally looking for some index cards because as I was saying, I want to be able to write <clears throat> those reminders on index cards. Y'all, they have the cutest stuff. Like, I'm just be in love. Like, look at this, y'all. Look at this. This would be so cute for like the kiddos to let them paint like their own thing. I might get something, get one of these, get like six of these. Well, five. And let the kids, like, paint their own. That will be a fun vlog. What y'all think? <sighs> I need to stay on task. That would be my problem. But, I don't know. Those are so cute. The kids, they be fighting over stuff, y'all. And so, it's like, I really don't even be knowing. Yeah, I'm going to have to get this. Because paint ain't but 99 cent. Yeah, acrylic paint. Here it go right here, y'all. And so... I'm going to get this for them. Yeah, this will be fun. All right, so I'm going to get this. Then we're going to focus back on what I'm supposed to be doing. But we're going to get blue. Let's do like a green. Uh, ooh. Blue, green, and a orange. And either a red or a yellow, I think, will be good. Let's do red. You know Let's do yellow. Yellow, y'all? What y'all think? Yellow? Hmm, it ain't going yellow. I can't even get it. Let's do yellow. So I got them four paints. Now, I should have got a basket if I was going to get all this because I had no intentions. I'm going to sit y'all up. I literally had no intentions of getting all this stuff. I found this little bag right here, y'all. I'm going to just toss it in here. Toss these paints in here. I think this will be really fun for them. And then I'm gonna also, I'm gonna get the red regardless. Right here. And then they have like these paintbrush sets. I'll pick up one of these. I think this is cute. Um, yeah, cause how many comes in this? Six brushes. Oh, 10 brushes come in this though. They're so small. Let's get this. 
right here, y'all. I'm using this basket for this because this is not what it's supposed to be for. This little gift bag. But, oh well. All right, y'all. But then they got this like a $3 set of acrylic paint. And look at all them colors. Nah, I'm gonna get the paint that I got because that looks more sturdy. All right, and then they just fight over so much, y'all. So it's like, I don't even know if I need to get five rocket ships or I need to get, like, because I try to do something different, like get dogs, a rocket, but it's like they fight over everything. Like the other day I came home and I got them all something different and they literally was like looking at me like they were sad. And I'm just like, because somebody didn't get the other thing. So it's just like, I be feeling so defeated. Like, was I, was that even smart of me to do, you know? Um, so I'm gonna just get everybody the same thing. I'm gonna get everybody this rocket ship. One, two, three, four, five. All right, literally five rocket ships. Five rocket ships. Ugh. Five rocket ships right here, y'all. And um, I don't have nowhere I can put this. I'm gonna have to put y'all down and just pick up with y'all to check out. But I'm getting, I came here for the index cards, as y'all know. And so the index cards is what I am truly looking for because I wanna be able to write on the index cards just everything that I said earlier about who God is and what he's doing. And then I can flip through the index cards as a reminder. So make sure you guys stay tuned so that you can do this with me. Um, because I think it's going to help all of us. All right, guys. So I found some index cards. These were actually like 49 cents, I think, or 75 cents. And it's 100 ruled index cards. So let's do it. All right, y'all. So I have made it back home. And I'm back with my kid toes. Anywho, I am basically showing you guys what I got out of Target. Y'all saw, but my hands were so full. But I ended up getting this kit for the kids. I ended up getting five of these rocket ships. They're downstairs, y'all. I don't want them to see them though, real quick. Five of these, because of course y'all know I have six sons, but Maverick, he can't do this, so. But I got five of the rocket ships. Um, I ended up getting five different shades of paint. We got red, orange, blue, green, and yellow. I gotta hurry up and hide this, y'all, because my kids, <laughs> I wanted to be a surprise. And then here's the index cards that I was gonna get all along. So, I got all this stuff, y'all, and I'm gonna save these for another vlog. So, if y'all been liking my mommy vlogs, mommy vlogs, excuse me, let me know. They be usually titled mommy vlogs. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep them titled that. Um, but then it'll say whatever it is that we did or are doing or the update. And I'm debating whether I'm going to keep them labeled that or not. I don't know. But I'll do this in the next vlog with the kiddos. And as y'all know, y'all be seeing my kiddos like in my vlogs like these two. But the difference between the mommy vlogs is that's like heavily focused on the kiddos and everything like that. Come here, Justin. Can you say hey? Hey. Here's Justin, y'all. He loves having his hood on. Say hey. I love you. <laughs> he wanted to show me his car, y'all. Can I see your lighting, McQueen? But anywho, um, Y'all know, y'all see, like, my kiddos here and there in my everyday vlogs like this. But the mommy vlogs be heavily, like, we're doing an activity. Or it's, like, a major update that's focused on them. And so, those are the main differences between those vlogs and just, like, the everyday vlogs with me. Um, hope that makes sense. But here are the next cards. I think I'm going to eat real quick. Y'all know where I stopped. I ain't even going to show y'all the bag. Because y'all already know. And so I'm going to probably eat some lunch because all I've had is I see all I um he can he can play with that truck. Marcel, come here and say hey. All I um I don't think he hurt me. But all I ate so far is like the cheese Danish. Yes. What? Marcel did something? Marcel, give him his truck back, baby. Um. Okay, there you go. What was I saying? I don't forgot. Oh, so all I ate so far was the cheese danish 
and uh, the tea, which I have a little bit left. It's been hours, but I guess since it's like warm outside and it was warm in my car, the tea is still like warm. Nonetheless, I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna head upstairs to my bedroom where I'm gonna be writing out these NS cards. So I'm so excited, y'all. We are getting ready to do this and this is gonna be so good. I'm really excited. I'm gonna go ahead, probably on my iPad and like start pulling the scriptures and thoughts and all of that that I want to write down on these see on these cards. Um, I was about to call them CRO cards, but I'm really excited yeah. because I just want to do this and I feel like this is going to be so pivotal into my just healing journey and just spiritual journey, just all, my whole just journey in general. So, yay. I hope y'all got y'all some index cards. If y'all don't, you can go get your something and then come and um, do this, with, watch it over and do this with me or whatnot. But this is going to be so big, y'all. I can't wait. All right, guys, so I am in my room. I'm actually sitting on the floor, and I'm getting ready to start doing what I was telling you guys about. So, um, if you somehow, but couldn't possibly have, missed the beginning portion of my video, I talked about how I went to ch I didn't go to church. I was listening to church and um, on Sunday, and basically the pastor was talking about the importance of a CRO a chief reminding officer and he was basically saying how a lot of times to get through things that you're going through you don't need new advice you just need a reminder you need a reminder of what god said what his promises are and different things like that and so today i'm really really excited sorry about that guys I had a little interruption but he was just talking about how you need reminders and so i'm not going to get back into it because i talked about it in the beginning of the video and so i'm really excited i got my computer right here y'all can't see it but it is here and I got my index cards, 100 index cards, and I have a Sharpie, a brown one, and I'm super excited to get into this. So the first, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the things that I need reminders about. And so you write down what y'all feel like y'all need reminders about. I need a reminder um, about God's um, provision. Basically, reminders that he's going to provide for me and my family through this. Um, because it's a different journey navigating life by myself. I've been, it's always been a wee situation for the last 10 years. Before that, I was living in my mom's house. I've never really did life on my own, ever. So, just being reminded. God's showing me through my everyday walk, but just having those reminders that he's going to provide for me. Um, next, I'll put about like vengeance because sometimes I'd be like, Lord, I could just say this and clear this up and I could just do this and I could just do that. But then I have to remember that vengeance is the Lord's and I don't have to worry about getting anybody back. And that's not just talking about, you know, my whole divorce situation. I'm talking about just being on social media. Sometimes I could just clear stuff up because you're lying, you're lying. But it's just like, nope, vengeance is the Lord's. Um... <clears throat> Provision, vengeance, peace, a reminder of how I can access God's peace. Number four, I would say like healing a broken heart. Um, and number five, and of course you can come back to these and do more. I would say the fifth one. So we got provision, vengeance, peace, Healing a broken heart and I'm gonna say I'm gonna write two actually. Five is gonna be like about my purpose, like remembering that God has a plan for me. And then the sixth one will be like remembering that I am good enough. If I'm in God's image. Alright, so First things first is <clears throat> there was some scripture that um, the pastor did already give that I want to use. And this one right here, hold on, all right, King James Version. Psalms 34, 19, many, of, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him 
out of them all. That's a good one. Uh, I have to write that one down. Many are the afflictions, the problems of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Psalms 34, 19. I have to write that one down because it lets you know that in this life, as you serve God, you are going to be afflicted. You are going to have problems. But, but, don't forget the but, heavy on the but, the Lord will deliver you of them all. So I'm going to write that down. All right. So here's how I did mine. <clears throat> NX card and it has the scripture and then it has what the scripture says. So like that. Since it bleeds through, I was gonna write something on the back, like a category, but I'm like, nah, I'll just leave it like this. So I'm so excited for this. I love doing stuff like this. If y'all was my friend in real life, y'all know I am such like my friends, they call me a hidden gem. Like a gem. Well, not so much hidden, but a gem because I'm just such an amazing person to be around. And I'm always just like trying to uplift myself and my friends like in real life, for real. All right, so let's find another one. And y'all, you know, y'all are free to look up um, your own, like just look up scriptures for vengeance or scriptures for whatever, and then write them below. And then you can leave them also for me in the comments any scriptures so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look up scriptures uh about vengeance dang i spelled vengeance wrong all right top scriptures about vengeance this is a good one romans 12 19 do not take revenge dear friends but leave room for god's wrath for it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. <laughs> leave room. Mahogany, shut your mouth. Leave room. Definitely writing that one down. Stuff like this, baby. Yes. That's what I needed to hear, for sure. Like, what the world? Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Like, that one just made me happy. Because shut your mouth. Zoop, and leave room for the Lord. What's wrong with you? Thinking you can solve it or repay. Shut your mouth. Romans 12, 19. Now, this is the NIV. Um, and then I'm just writing it down. Man, that just shut me the heck up. Respond back to what comment? Respond back to who? Try to get you back for what you did to me? Oh, no. Nah. I'm going to leave room. Mm-hmm. And then, I'm going to leave room. I'm going to leave room. That's one of my favorite ones right there. Boom! She's done. All right, let's see what else they got under vengeance. Woo! This one right here. God, dog, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, this is crazy. This one says, on the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heat burning coal on his head. Wow. This is like when it comes to forgiveness, because you be thinking like, oh, you know, I told you I was going through like an issue, not an issue, but I was having to learn how to forgive and my therapist was helping me. And, you know, sometimes you think like when you forgive somebody, you let them off the hook. But really, it's you that's on the hook, not even them, because forgiveness is for you. But, baby, you telling me if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he thirsty, give him something to drink. And doing this, you will heat burning coals on his head. So it's not even like keep being kind hearted, keep doing what you're doing. Like, yeah, it be seeming like, you are being nice to someone who hurt you and is like, I need to withhold my niceness, but no. What, what that scripture say? In doing this, you will be burning coals on his head. So I'm not saying be nice to them for that reason, but it's just like, 
again, don't worry about repaying. May God do that. And then it's another one. Um, do not over, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. I know that one. So the next one I'm writing down, y'all, is going to be Romans 12, 20. And that's the one about, um, on the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heat burning coals on his head. All right. <laughs> Let me write this one down. Romans. All right, y'all. So I have that one written right here. All right. So I'm now going to look up scriptures about... Let's say provision. And that's basically God provided for you. Okay. Um, here's one that's good. Corinthians 2, 9 and 8. It says, and God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all you need, you will abound in every good work. All right. So what version was that? Okay. Okay. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all you need, you will abound in every good work. So I love that. Because that's just confirming that God, one, will take care of you, but not only take care of you, God is able to bless you abundantly. And that's the thing. Sometimes people don't even want you to be blessed abundantly. They just want you to just be able to make ends meet. And they think that it's not Christian like if God has blessed you abundantly. They're like, oh, you know, get rid of all your things and, you know, you shouldn't have this or you shouldn't have that. And it's like God says right in his word that he is able to bless you abundantly. So my pastor said the God that of your mind is the God... The God in your mind is the God that you get. If you believe that God is just your ticket to heaven, that's all you're going to get from him. If you believe that he's also your way to heaven and he can bless you abundantly on this earth, then that's what you're going to get from him. So, like, that's why we both can believe God, both can be saved and have two different lives, two different experiences of how God provides and how we live our lives. All right. Um, 2 Corinthians 9, 8, and God is able to bless you. All right, boom, there she is. So, so far I got four, y'all. Let's see what we, what else we see about God's provision. Um, this is a good one too right here, for real. If you really think about it. Um, I knew this scripture, but this one is um, John 10, 10. It says, let's do King James Version. The thief cometh not but for to steal and kill and to destroy. That's what a thief comes for. I come that they may have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So not just life, but abundantly. An abundance of peace, an abundance of joy, an abundance of provision, an abundance of healing. Yes. All right. Boom. There she is. So, so far I got like, let me just put them on many other afflictions. Okay, that's like about, let's see, wait, okay, vengeance, vengeance, and then like provision. All right, y'all, let's see if I can find another one about provision. I'm like, oh yeah, this might be it right here. There's one scripture I was literally looking for. Oh, I can, I'll do these two. So Luke 12, 24, that was the scripture I was looking for. And it pretty much says, let's go to the NIV. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you than the birds? If he doing all this for the birds... Baby, you think he ain't gonna ride for you? Girl. Girl, sis, friend. Let's reality check. No. All right. And that's the NIV. And boom. Another scripture about God's provision. All right. Let's keep moving on. So. So we've done provision, we've done vengeance. Now, 
Let's look up scriptures that validate that we are good enough based on what God says, not based on what other people say. This one don't even, I just came across this scripture right here. This is Deuteronomy 2, 3. You have circled this mountain long enough. Now turn north. Speak, Father. I had to write this one down because this is just a reminder for me, like, all right, you've been in this place long enough. You've been sad over this long enough. You've been trying to figure it out this long enough. You've been trying to make sense of it long enough. Now turn from it and go in the direction I told you to, period. I'm still looking for like scriptures on being good enough. Um, so y'all, I found two. Two that I wanna know. All right, so one is, this one is Psalms 131. This one actually says 13 through 14. For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. So <clears throat> when, so we don't have to use this whole scripture y'all, but I'm probably going to use part of it. It just all depends. I'm going to put it in google and see like what it all says and everything i might use the whole thing yeah i'm gonna use yeah i'm gonna use the whole thing because i feel like it's necessary this is psalms 139 139 13 through 14 this is the niv version for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Okay, guys. So I have that one written out. Who my allergies trying to do a number on me. Here it is right here. <clears throat> and this is about being good enough. That scripture. And then... There was one more that I wanted to write down. Okay. This one right here. Philippians 1 and 6. I am sure of this. That he who began a good work in you. Will bring it to completion. At the day of Jesus Christ. I love that scripture. Because it is a great reminder. That. What God started, he is a finisher and he is going to finish what he started in you. I don't care what the circumstances look like. I don't care what is going on or what your finances look like. He that began a good work. Now, if you begin a work, he ain't saying he gonna finish that. It's what you did of God. We always gotta look at that. But if it's something that God did, some God said, he gonna complete that thing. Period. So I'm going to write that one down. So I'm going to use Philippians 1.6, the NIV version. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. And then, y'all, it's one other scripture that I want. It's like in Jeremiah, and it's basically saying, like, I knew you when you were in your mother's womb. I have to find that one. That's a great one too. All right, so I got that one written down. Boom! Yeah. Thank you, baby. So, as y'all say, just like I looked up stuff, that's all you have to look up. Um, like whatever your situation is and just look it up, just like I'm doing right now. All right, Jeremiah 1, 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before the camest forth, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet to the nations. So, let's go to the NIV. For some of y'all, that was like, baby, that was a lot. Break that down. Before I formed you, in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. I love that because, baby, God knew you before you were even in your mama's womb. And he set you apart then to be unique. So people don't like you, 
you're different. Yeah, he set you apart. Uh, we ain't supposed to be the same. All right, y'all. So I put this one in the purpose category. <clears throat> so we talked about being good enough, about purpose. Next I have on my list, my list is healing in a broken heart. But I'm not going to do all of those on here, y'all. I definitely feel like y'all have gotten the point. Um, I'm going to tell y'all a scripture for a broken heart and one for peace really quick. And then, you know, you guys can finish this on your own as I finish it on my own. A scripture for a broken heart. A broken heart is Psalms 147, 3. This is the ESV version. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. That's powerful. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So that's a promise that he can heal you. And then we're going to do scriptures about peace. Since those are my last two. Um, and one to get y'all started is... Uh, Isaiah 26, 3 is a great one. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. So a mind that stayed on God, he'll keep in perfect peace. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you have enjoyed this. Um, it has brought me so great joy to just share this with you guys. And let me know what else you guys want to see in my videos. Um... I'm going to keep taking you guys through my healing journey, my spiritual journey, and just everything in between. And y'all, these right here has even got me in check. Like, these no cards already because sometimes I feel like I be feeling the need to explain things to people because people be misunderstanding me sometimes. And it's just like, I know people be intentionally doing that. Like, they don't want to understand. They want to find a flaw. And I be feeling like I need to say something or like, oh, I need to help you understand that this is not the case or whatever. And it's like, no, you don't. Um, leave room for God. What was that scripture? Y'all, I'm holding on to that one like crazy. Um, do not, Romans 12, 19, do not take revenge, my dear friends. But leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay. And so, literally, in my mind now, I'm like, let me just leave room for God. I'm going to leave room. Because if I start taking up the space, like, I'm not leaving room for God. So, let me let, leave room. Let me leave room for him. I love y'all so much. I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. I pray God's blessing over y'all. I pray that he will keep you guys and that you'll sleep well and that you'll wake up and have an amazing day. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for being connected on all my social media platforms. If you aren't following me everywhere, you're on the screen. Make sure you follow me. And I can't wait to see y'all in the next video as we continue to love, grow, heal. And as I always say, if you see something negative on my in the comments, let them know. We don't do that negativity over here. Um, and if you see someone going through something in the comments, this is a safe space. So if I haven't responded back or even if I have responded to them in the comments, I want y'all to further go in there and say something to them, encourage them, pray for them, love them, because this is that type of community. And I love y'all and I appreciate y'all rocking with me all the way. And, um, I don't take it for granted. You guys watch your videos to the end. Even if you're going to sleep, just play one of my playlists. You know, I appreciate it. It really helps. Um, as I just navigate this journey on my own with my kids and um i love y'all and i'm thankful just for the whole journey so um in jesus name amen to the prayer i just prayed but um i'm just thankful for this whole journey and um i love you guys and it's only up for here and i'm thankful for just every part of the journey i love you guys so much and i'll see y'all in the next video bye oh,